10 seconds left. 5 seconds left. Begin. Ladies and gentlemen, I am glad to be here to participate in the journey for a developed India. On this occasion, I am happy to address those who are involved in our resolution to make India a developed country. This journey has been started last month and it is my duty to contribute my time to this program. I have come to meet my people as a member of parliament. On this occasion, I am very glad to participate in this program today. You are aware that in our country, governments have come and gone. All these years, many schemes have been formulated and discussions have taken place. It is well known that big promises have been made in the last few decades. In this regard, it is necessary that the government's plans should reach the people without any hassle. If it is the Prime Minister's housing scheme, then those who are living in slums should get houses. They should not be made to run to the government offices to get benefits. As a matter of fact, it is the government that should reach out to them. I am happy to state that since we came to power, about 4 crore families have got new houses. At the same time, it is true that some people have been left out. It is therefore necessary that I should travel throughout the country to listen to the people as far as I can. As a result, we will be able to see whether the schemes have really reached the people. I have no doubt that this will help me get the real picture. I would like to hear from you whether the work I have been planning has been transformed into reality. In other words, I want to know whether it has reached those people for whom it was meant. In the same manner, I would also like to hear from you the experience regarding the medical insurance scheme initiated by me. I recently met some individuals who got this health card and got treatment for serious diseases. It has to be borne in mind that the schemes impact the entire family. When I hear such positive views directly from the people, I am very happy. In the same manner, the officials who prepare such schemes and execute them also feel satisfied. I would like to draw your attention to the fact that the department staff also get job satisfaction when they are able to improve the standard of living of the people directly. On this occasion, I would like to bring to your kind attention that the government had recently formulated a unique program to track the implementation of important central schemes relating to housing, gas connections, medical insurance and microcredit. We have taken care to see that we reach out to the poor who are eligible but have not availed central government benefits so far. It has been ordered that all central government departments across the country should create awareness about these schemes. At the same time, the departments should also enroll beneficiaries and make them share their personal experience to the poor people. As a matter of fact, the beneficiaries feel that the line between the rich and the poor had vanished as a result of these schemes. When a person gets free medical aid, gas connection or a house, it has great impact on his entire family. Now, their children also get confidence to face life. Once these schemes cover all the poor families across the country, we can easily achieve a developed India in the next two decades. I am sorry to state that some people find fault with this great project. As a matter of fact, this is a sacred task for every citizen. I am absolutely certain that this journey should cover the length and breadth of the country. Everyone should come listen to beneficiaries, benefit from the plans and share their success to others in the next few days. It is well known that we have some funds problem. I am sure that the corporate sector will give us a helping hand in the matter. I would like to assure you that we would be able to get the resources within the next few years. About 4 crore people have received new houses and several more have got other benefits. 
i hope and trust that we will be free from problems in the years to come with these few words i resume my seat